Hi and welcome, my name is Chowa and today we're playing new game Unheard. Let's begin and see what... yes. Welcome detective, please make yourself comfortable. Thanks. I appreciate your coming in today and I'm sure you're wondering what this is all about. Yes. As you know, technology is changing how we conduct investigations. So we're looking for exceptional candidates to test a new human computer interface system. Human computer? We think you might have what it takes. So let's get started. First of all, we'd like you to put on these headphones. But the room is equipped with speakers if you prefer. Next. We're going to show you a series of pictures. We okay. want you to tell us what you see, or more importantly, what you hear. Go ahead and pick up the tablet in front of you. Okay. Just stay relaxed. Think of this as sort of a game or a puzzle. Yeah, which is Something for me. Something to your interpretive and deductive skills. Okay, click the play button to start the recording. State your name, please. Already told you, Tyler. Tyler. Mm -hmm. But your car is registered under the name Cameron. <coughs> My brother lets me borrow his luxury vehicle sometimes. You two look a lot alike. You're not the first person to mistake us for each other. We're twins. Except he's a big shot CEO. It was on a magazine cover recently. <laughs> I pulled your sheet. A repeat offender. DUI. Assault. <sighs> it's the people I hang out with. Honest. I told the guys I shouldn't have been drinking, but they insisted, I swear, never again. Do you have anything else you'd like to come clean on besides the DUI? Uh, nothing I can think of. Why? Drugs, perhaps. Does that jog your memory? Wait, what? I don't know anything about any drugs. Okay, we're done for now. Wait here. Hey, what drugs, yo? What the hell's going on here? Right click on the map to move. Oh, uh, it's it was me. Be right back. All done, Marty. Ah, oh, Amber. Marty and Amber. How'd it go? Asked him the basics. He said he didn't know anything. Figured as much. Follow me. I'll talk to him. Wait here. We'll need your signature for that affidavit. Of course, officer. I need to make a phone call anyway. You think? Maybe I keep here? And trying to hear what he's Officer, you said something about talking about. Earlier. What was that all about? What's your name, son? Tyler. Same old story, I see. If you're Tyler, then who's the Tyler in the room next door? He's here too? Let me ask you again. Who are you? All right, all right. Cameron. Okay. This isn't your first time impersonating Tyler, is it? No. If it was only a DUI this time, you might have been able to pull off your little stunt again. But seriously, drugs? You really want to pin that on your brother, too? What drugs? We found a whole kilo in your trunk. That's impossible! Okay, I drink too much, but I've never taken anything stronger than aspirin! I want to see my lawyer. Finally, there's the magic word. Amber, let's go. You want to question him again once... Done nothing but lie straight from the start. We already read him his rights. But he didn't ask for a lawyer until now. The statement we got will hold up in court. 
lawyer or no lawyer, we've got him. No, that's something fishy about it. You reach the end of the recording. Click the button below to listen to it again. Remember, you might find more clues by following different characters or exploring other rooms. Of course. Yeah, let's go. And you can move to the other room. Okay. When Take a seat. Thanks. The when are what? what? Oh, great. Provided us have all been checked out. We've got the guy and the drugs. There's just one thing I don't get. Why would you report your own brother? Because he's got to learn to take responsibility for his own mistakes. What do you mean by that? We're twins, right? Identical. Click to send a comment. What comment? Click this button to write notes. For me, right? right yes? He's been pinning his fuck ups on me ever since we were kids. For his own mistakes. What do you mean by that? Oh my god. Because he's gotta learn to think we've got the guy and the drugs. There's just one thing I don't get. Why would you report your own brother? Because he's gotta learn to take responsibility for his own mistakes. Uh huh. What do you mean by that? We're twins, right? Identical. He's been pinning his fuck ups on me ever since we were kids. But now he's rich and famous, and me? I'm trying hard just to get by. Then why do you always take the fall for him? Until now, I mean. Because he's older, by a couple minutes. But as the second son, I was considered the spoiled brat. So it was my duty to protect the rep of the rightful heir to our father's business. I guess I always thought, what's the harm adding a few misdemeanors to my rap sheet? Pretty generous for a spoiled brat. Don't believe me? Ask him. Fucker's probably still pretending to be me. All right. What changed this time, then? He wraps up a couple moving violations? Fine. Whatever. But I ain't taking the fall for no drugs. That's some felony level shit. What is this place? Be right back. All done, Marty. Ah, Amber. How'd it go? Asked him the basics. He said he didn't know anything. Figured as much. Follow me. I'll talk to him. Wait here. We'll need your signature for that affidavit. Of course, officer. I need to make a phone call anyway. Okay. Let's go. let's hear him. Yo, I'm at the police station. Can't talk much. Just want to make sure you get everything tied up. Yeah, shut that guy up for good. When? Now, obviously. Stupid. We're talking about a whole key here. Of course they're gonna trace the source. And the dealer can ID me, so hurry up. My brother? Pulling the same old stunt as we speak. <laughs> yeah, I knew he'd try to blame me. But it's gonna backfire on him this time. Don't worry. He was already wasted when I popped open the car. Didn't notice a thing. The police are gonna nail him for possession and perjury. And when you finish this little errand, you won't even be able to offer up the dealer as part of a plea. He's going to jail, and I'm getting the business. My old man can't and won't help him this time. Not after Cameron got caught with what he did. You'll get your cut after I take over his heir. Anyway, no celebrating yet. Go do what you gotta do, and call me back when it's done. Okay. No, I don't need it. Who hit the trucks? Tyler. Do you think you've discovered the truth? Yes. You found the truth. Skull's case. Drugs, perhaps. Does that jog your memory? Wait, what? I don't know anything about the drugs. There's just one thing I don't get. Why would you report your own brother? 
let me ask you again. Who are you? All right. All right. Cameron. We found a whole kilo in your trunk. Don't worry. He was already wasted by Papa. Didn't notice a thing. Okay. So you believe that the twins swapped their identities. Excellent assessment, detective. And? By this point, you've probably figured out you're reviewing a sort of surveillance recording. Yeah. All of this data is contained in and processed by what we're calling the uh, acoustic detective system. Of it course. allows you to freely navigate through past events using captured audio. Ultimately, we're hoping to assemble a new investigative department that will rely heavily on this invention both to solve cold cases and assist with new ones as they develop. You're off to a strong start. Let's get back to it, shall we? How about something more challenging? Is it a game for you? More challenging. And really, the sources of the audio. Can you tell me? Is it our phones or what? This is the floor plan of a local art gallery. The exhibition is about to start, but the only thing on display is an empty frame. Okay, let's see it. Whoa, seven minutes. Uh, let's begin. Mr. Green, what brings you? Mr. Green. I wanted to thank you in person for, uh, sending me a photo of the maestro's painting. Thanks to that high-quality image, I could see all the fine details and... Woo-wee! Talk about a masterpiece! <laughs> Please keep your voice down. I sent it to you because you've been a good sponsor to this gallery, and I hope that will continue. But we're under strict orders not to show that painting to anyone. The threat of forgery alone. Who is this, huh? Ah, whatever. Ha! Ah, good luck to anyone who thinks they can copy the maestro's genius. <laughs> Still, there are those out there that would try. What am I, a freaking call center? No. <sighs> Sean, buddy, calm down. I Sean. You know I only collect originals. The best of Okay. Originals. Okay. No sound from it. Or what? Yeah, no sound. This must be a security, right? I've already told you the lost art. As assistant, I oui. this performance art the maestro orchestrated. As his assistant, I'd like to think I'm doing him a favor. Okay. Is talking with someone. You must hurry. You will go straight to the storeroom. The combo for the safe is. Wait. Down. I get it. You know I only collect originals. The best of the best, right? Sean. Tenor. I, what okay. Somewhere here. Hurry. Nope. Yep. This must be Sean. 
Okay, so this must be a security. This must be a reefs. Okay, there are only Mac, Tommy, and Maestro. Wait. Oh. Oh. Place. Ain't my fault all these shishi galleries look the same. Okay. Chill. I found the place. Ain't my fault all these shishi galleries look the same. We're still on schedule, so. Okay, so let's go. Wait, schedule. Cool your jets, old man. You told me once before. I'm not gonna forget it. Relax. I'm a pro. My name means something on the street. Ask anyone. There ain't a job I done wrong. Uh, excuse me, is this the, uh, Tossed Art Exhibition? It's the Lost Art! That's a made of some... Wait... Okay, let's go back. You, you know I only collect originals. The best of the best, right? I wanted to see it before he opened. And now that I have, I'm gonna buy it. Actually, about that, I... Well, I'm afraid that... Maybe you should just answer that, hmm? Go ahead. Uh, right then. Like I said, just swung by to say thanks for the sneak preview. You've probably got a packed schedule. I'll see you out there. Wait, 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 wait. I don't get it. What am I, a freaking call center? <sighs> Sean, buddy, calm down. I get it. You know I only collect originals. The best of the best, right? That Wait. would try. What? Still, there are those out there that would try. What am I, a freaking call center? <sighs> Sean. Wait. He hung up again? Nope, this is Sean. Calm down! I get it! You know I only collect originals. The best of the best, right? I wanted to see it before the opening. And now that I have, I'm gonna buy it. Actually, about that, I... Well, I'm afraid that... Maybe you should just answer that. Hmm? Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, right then. Like I said, just swung by to say thanks for the sneak preview. You've probably got a packed schedule. I'll see you out there. Okay. Now there's the I need to check things out first. This time. Ah, Maestro. There you are. I was just looking for you. I viewed your painting the other day, by the way. Truly a masterpiece. But when I just went to check on it earlier, all I saw was an empty frame. Your assistant... Wait. Okay, Master going here. Hello? Why didn't you pick up? Did you... Okay. Mac, simmer down. I need to check. Okay, Mac. Now we know who this is. Mac, that this must be a Tommy. Okay, now we can proceed. Sean. Ah, Maestro, there you are. I was just looking for you. I viewed your painting the other day, by the way. Truly a masterpiece. But when I just went to check on it earlier, all I saw was an empty frame. Your assistant said that's what you actually want to present. 
Could I ask the reason, if you don't mind? <sighs> Do you know why I picked the theme, the lost art for this exhibition? Hmm? Look outside. Look at all those people staring at an empty frame, thinking it is my actual work. Tell me, Sean, just how many works of art from young, promising artists do you have in this gallery right now? Ten? Twenty? You might as well have zero of all it is worth to these people. To them, this empty, pointless frame is more valuable than the actual art of all of these rising artists. Do people nowadays have any taste? Hmm. Uh -huh. You're not wrong there, Maestro, but uh, that's pretty much how it's always been. <sighs> you are right, of course. The Renaissance elite, uh, they patronized the starving sculptors and painters. But it is especially true now that art has become about who has more money, whose name is more recognized. People have become nothing more than sheep with no opinions of their own. I recognize. Performance art, if you wish. But this exhibition was never about a piece of canvas. This? No, the truth is, I hired a thief and instructed him to steal my painting and to sell it on the black market. If someone eventually recognizes my work, I will reveal everything. My entire scheme, and sign my name to it. Why, that's, that's brilliant. Just imagine the rush of people who'll be out searching for your painting. While it's true that they may just be in it for the money, they'll have to go through hundreds and hundreds of anonymous paintings if they have any hope of finding yours. Hello, this is Claude. <laughs> Thank you. Magnifique. Finally, we can begin. Are you ready, Maestro? Yes. Let us, uh, as they say, get this show on the road, huh? I am hopeful that after today, people will finally start to appreciate the art around them. As they search for the stolen painting, they will find much more than they bargained for. The true lost art. Okay, what's happening here? <clears throat> okay. Yo, old man, I got the merchandise. Wait, what? And what about the rest of my money, huh? Hello? Hello? God damn it! Merchandise. Hey, you don't happen to have a light on you, do you? Hmm? What's that you got there? What? Hey, this is... Is that a copy of the Maestro's painting? I got one myself. Pretty good, huh? Uh, yeah. Uh, yes, of course. Who stole the real painting first? Tommy, okay. Want a cigarette? Don't know about you, but I'm barely keeping it together. Before the 90s, you could smoke anywhere, but now? Sure, thanks. Don't mind if I do. Okay. Tommy has a real painting. Um, let's... Here. What this green guy... 
Talking about with Mac. Why didn't you pick up? Did you bring the money? Hello? Hello? Uh, hung up on me again? What's the checkout? Hello? God damn it. Okay, and this guy? Green. Simmer down. I need to check things out first. This kind of research can't be rushed. Call me back in a few minutes. Misreads. Wait. Down. I need to check things out first. This kind of research can't be rushed. Call me back in a few minutes. Okay. That was too early. Misery. Well, if it isn't my favorite artist's assistant, on my way. See you soon. So, are the rumors true? I hear the maestro hired someone to swipe his work so he could showcase an empty frame. Only he would pull something like that. <laughs> as soon as the painting surfaces, it's mine. And don't worry, I won't forget about your cut for helping me find it. It's my pleasure, but don't bother looking for it on the black market. That place is nothing but a cesspool of forgeries. What do you mean by that? The maestro may have his own plan, but if the painting's going to get stolen anyway, I figured I could do him a favor. Ta-da! Uh, you took it? When, uh, when... Did you nab it? The when is unimportant. What matters is that I have it. Uh, if you'll, uh, excuse me for a moment, I have to take this. I checked. It's a fake. I feel like an idiot for spending all that cash to hire a decent forger. Is it Mac? Got our plan all along. All along. Off. Forget about the rest of your money. Sorry, sorry. Import. Okay, she's not talking with anyone. That's cool. Sorry, sorry. Important call, you know. But anyway, uh, I wanted to ask uh, you sure it's okay? I mean, taking the painting behind the maestro's back and everything. But that's exactly what he wanted, isn't it? For the painting to be stolen, but instead of letting it fall into the hands of a two-bit thief who doesn't know a thing about art, I thought it would be safer in the hands of a true connoisseur, like yourself. Don't you agree? You flatter me. And you're not wrong there. I'm a big fan of the maestro's work. I'm talking huge. So, rather than cutting me in for a finder's fee, I'd like to offer a chance to buy it direct. Assuming the price is right. Well, I brought all the cash I could get on such short notice. You think this would be enough? Hmm. Was hoping for a bit more. A but bit more. Seeing as you're all Johnny on the spot, and in cash too. You've got yourself a deal. Just remember, no selling for at least a year. Got that? This cannot be tracked back to me. Oh. Don't worry about me. I understand all too well. After all, patience is key in my line of work. The longer I hold on to this painting, the more I'll be able to sell it for three years. That's my end game. And not a soul will know a thing about it until then. An expert as always. I should have known I wouldn't have to remind you. All right, the exhibition will kick off soon. 
if you'll excuse me. Go on ahead. I'll see you around. Okay, that's not mean that he has it in the end. Ah, there you are, Maestro. The exhibition's about to start. Uh huh. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so glad you could all be here today. I'm sure many of you have questions about the, well, empty frame you see before you, which is why, without further ado, I'd like to officially announce the commencement of the Lost Art Exhibition. Put your hands together for the Maestro Claw. Thank you. Merci beaucoup. Thank you. Welcome to all of you here to see my work. This piece, my, my latest piece, has been an entire year in the making. However, it would seem a year is still not enough. No doubt you have already noticed uh, the empty frame before you. Uh -huh. I am sorry to tell you, but... My painting, My painting has actually, actually been, been stolen. stolen. Silence! I, I, I have no doubt you end, end, end up on the black market. Where are you going? I I want to regret it, that I never signed my bid. Nor did I take any photos of it. In fact, any anonymous painting out there on the market could, in fact, be my work. This is a real thing. And Pay up. And to find my painting. Two? Director, the painting's been found! But what? Another one? Oh, it cannot be. Another, Another one? The, uh, the lost art has returned. It's a miracle. Wait, what? Okay. I don't get it. They all think that they have one. Okay. Let's hear it out again. So I've been waiting. talking about of course the painting you gave me is fake but i swapped it with the real one in the storeroom wasn't that our plan all along hello hello okay and what was it here in the beginning with reefs i have a potential buyer okay Good news. I have a potential buyer. When I don't expect will require much convincing or ask too many questions. Quit worrying. It's perfectly safe. You know I don't deal with the real thing. Ever. But the others are none the wiser and my position lends me plausibility. So long as you keep your mouth shut, everything will be fine. Besides, I have complete faith in your skill. There isn't a single person who'll be able to tell your work is a fake. Okay. Anyway, this was all his idea. This performance art the maestro orchestrated. As his assistant, I'd like to think I'm doing him a favor. And since he staged this whole thing himself, he won't get the police involved. That should put your mind at ease. Yes? I've already told you, the lost art. It's about more than just the theft and retrieval of a painting. Who knows how many people are going to get tangled up in this before it's over. Each of them playing their own special roles in the maestro's machinations without realizing it. You and I, well, we're just the first two actors in the play, but at least we're not improvising. Really. 
the more I think about it, the more genius it all is. Claude truly is a master. Anyway, I should go. I'm meeting the buyer soon. I'll call you back when I have our money in hand. All right? Have you arrived, Mr. Green? Mr. Green? <laughs> okay. This is a real thing. Pay up. Two? Director, the painting's been found! But what? Another one? Oh, can that be? Another one? The lost art has returned. Another one? Wait. Let's go here and hear what he says. Maestro. Talking with Tommy. Why so long? Hey. Hmm. He has so much patience. Where are you? What? You're lost? I told you it was A2, a round building. The exhibition will start soon. You must hurry. You will go straight to the storeroom. The combo for the safe is... Okay, it's Tommy. Yes, well, you must not get caught. I know, I know that, Tommy. That's why I hired you. Call me when you're finished. I don't understand. Reeves must have it before everything that happened here. Right? Look outside. Look at all those people staring at an empty frame. Thinking it is my actual work. Tell me, Sean. Just how many works of art from young, promising artists do you have in this gallery right now? Ten? Twenty? You might as well have zero of all it is worth to these people. To them, this empty, pointless frame is more valuable than the actual art of all of these rising artists. <sighs> do people nowadays have any taste? Hmm. You're not wrong there, maestro, but uh, that's pretty much how it's always been. <sighs> you are right, of course. The Renaissance elite paid sculptors and shit at art. Who has more money? People have become nothing more than sheep, more than no opinions of their own. God, never it is. I and instructing and to sell it on the black market okay so it's in the black market it fall into the hands of a two-bit thief who doesn't know a thing about art i thought it would be safer in the hands of a true connoisseur like yourself don't you agree you flatter me and you're not wrong there i'm a big fan of the maestro's work i'm talking so, rather than cutting me in for a finder's fee, I'd like to offer a chance to buy it direct. Assuming the price is right. Well, I brought all the cash I could get on such short notice. You think this would be enough? Hmm. Is painting with her? A bit more. 
but seeing as you're all Johnny on the spot, and in cash too, you've got yourself a deal. Just remember, no selling for at least a year. Got that? This cannot be tracked back to me. Oh, don't worry about me. I understand all too well. After all, pay my line of work. Hold on, or I'll be able to sell it for three years. Not a sub. An expert as always. I should have known I wouldn't have to remind you. All right, the exhibition will kick off soon, if you'll excuse me. Go on ahead. I'll see you around. Go Wait. Ahead. If you'll excuse me. Go on ahead. And, and, and not a soul will know a thing about it until then. An expert as always. I should have known I wouldn't have to remind you. All right. The exhibition will kick off soon. If you'll excuse me. Wait. She, did she give him? That's my end game. And not and Just remember. No selling for at least a year. Got that? This cannot be tracked back to me. Oh. Okay. So that's Reese and Green, I think. I think. I don't know if she gave it to him or they must she must give it to him later. But in the end I think it's right because uh I don't know. This Mac oh, I can't me. understand what's he doing there. He's sitting there, and who stole it first, Reeves or Mac? They all not just stole it, they switch it. Okay, I think that would be, yeah, my answer. Submit. I think yes. You need to answer all two questions, right? Now none of them are correct. Okay. Cool. None of them is correct. Okay. Who stole the real painting first? None of them is correct. Oh, really? So this must be it. The Mac stole it first, then switch it with the Tommy, and in the end, security guy has it. Right? They talking here? And I think Mr. that... Oh, it's true that... Yours. Okay, let's go here. Wait, what? Yeah. Hmm? What's that you got there? What? Hey, this is... Is that a copy of the Maestro's painting? I got one myself. Pretty good, huh? Uh, yeah. Uh, yes, of course. <sighs> Want a cigarette? Don't know about you, but I'm barely keeping it together. Before oh, yeah. Tonight... Mac has, uh, talking with Green, he said that the deal is off, so he told him that the uh, painting was still before, or still by someone else. So he said it, by Tommy and switch it but he has the real one so Tommy has the real one already almost got from this exhibition but the security stopped him and in the end it's there okay yes you found the truth. Yes! Close case. Good news. I have a potential 
quiet. Quit worrying, it's perfectly safe. You know I don't deal with the real thing. Ever. You took it? When, uh, when did you have it? The when is unimportant. What matters is that I have it. Oh. I checked. It's a fake. I feel like an idiot for spending all that cash to hide my decent fortune. What are you talking about? Of course the pain you gave me is fake, but I swapped it for the real one in the store. Yeah. Turns out that what's fake too. The deal's off. Get up the rest of your money. Who was the real painting in the end? Go straight to the storm. Is it combo for the sake is? Cool your jets, old man. You told me once before. I'm not gonna forget it. Yo, old man. I got the merchandise. Ouch! Watch it, man. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I, I panicked. Anyway, it was uh, nice talking to you. Here's your painting. See you around, yeah? You stole it! Hand it over! Jesus, fine, take it! It ain't worth a shit anyway! Okay. Good work. Looks like you're getting the hang of this. Before we go any further, I should inform you our acoustic detective system does have potential side effects. Oh, great. For example, you may start hearing voices as the test continues. Great. There's nothing to worry about, I can assure you. You think? When the exam is finished, depending on the outcome, we'll provide any additional treatment you might need. Now on to the next scenario. To further test your abilities, we'll try a higher profile case. One I'm sure you remember from the news. Okay, you won. I really like this game. It's great so uh, I hope you enjoyed smash like if you did leave your comments and subscribe see you in the next videos bye